California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and seven, Carr got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Oh, he's got some breathing room. A big play there on the catch and run. 71 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams are... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. From three yards out, and the Raiders drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Raiders have recovered. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? And right out of the gate, you're going to be, a, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong. He's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his... Under pressure, and down he goes. They sag him back at the 36. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. They'll roll him out right. And that will be incomplete. I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but maybe circle this play because if they get the stop and hold him to a field goal here, that's a pretty good job. They're already down on the scoreboard. A stop now would be vital for them because it could save them from having to do it multiple times later in the game in order to either get back into it or maybe have a chance to win. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Well, here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. On the counter, Elliott. In on the stop, it's to here Whitehead. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. 
Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run the counter, Elliott. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. On second down, Elliott. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. Try to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen, and he returns it here to his own 18-yard line. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jalen Smith, he brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. To try again after the sack. Carr, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. On third and long, it's Carr. And he can't get away. Carr is going to go down, and that is a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it, and he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off that. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. From 17 yards out. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Play action now. Prescott. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Caught by Jones. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Right 
They go play action here on first down. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further to throw his car. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Demarcus Lawrence able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now Carr rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jonathan Abram picks it. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Intended that time for Cooper from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. Dancing to his left. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Here's Carr. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Throwing again on second down. Carr, he'll find his tight end. That's Waller. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Again, it's Carr. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. To throw again on second down. Carr. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Jalen Smith getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Carr going to throw. And he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Let's go, D. Car to throw for it on fourth down. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Six. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The Raiders in the first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. On first down, call. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. CD, with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th. Who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next, and rightly so because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is the prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes has gathered together, the defense is playing better, and Buffalo really showed me something when they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh on a Sunday night in week 15. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Car now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. Carr. They'll buy some time right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Make it four touchdown passes now for Derek Carr as his guys continue to pour it on. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that side. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Carl Joseph. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Shotgun now for Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Now a play fake here on first down. Got his man, it's Williams. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. 